All right, GPU mining kind of just feels different right now than it you know did back in the Ethereum mining days. And I want to talk a little bit about kind of how I view the landscape of GPU mining right now and kind of my own predictions of kind of what things will look like in the next year or so. And if we do see another bull market and how I believe that might be different this time compared to last time. Uh, of course, nothing in this video is financial advice and also any kind of predictions that I make is just kind of me and my own impression of what the market is like right now. And you should definitely not take that as anything that is kind of set in stone or anything like that. It's just me, you know, giving my own prediction, but I don't have a crystal ball and I can't see the future. So please just keep that in mind. But to start off, this video is definitely uh, kind of sparked uh, by two excellent videos by two of my you know, fellow uh, mining YouTube content creators, uh, fellow colleagues of mine. First of all, uh, Rabid Mining, who made this fantastic video of uh, just about understanding altcoin season, um, talks a lot about more in depth uh, than what I'm going to do about some of the stuff that I'm going to cover in this video. You should definitely go check this video out. Just kind of how things are a little bit different for the, you know, the coins that we mine as miners right now. Uh, he also talks a lot about kind of how to store your crypto in order to be the most successful in this, you know, next potentially upcoming bull market. I also want to shout out this video by Modern Mining. Uh, he, you know, it's again a pretty similar topic that he covers here, um, but he also goes more in depth than I will on kind of like how you can lower your risk uh, while still, you know, reaping some rewards going into this, um, you know, whole upcoming period with GPU mining and mining in general. So please go check those videos out. I'll obviously have them linked down in the video description and I'll also put them up as cards at the end of this video. But let's get into the meat and potatoes of this and kind of, you know, see what the whole big deal is here. So to start, I just want to talk about what, what did we see in kind of this last bull run. And because if we are on the brink of having another bull run, you know, that's the closest thing we can kind of compare things to and see kind of how things will be different for us this time. But obviously during this last bull run, it was kind of between, let's say end of 2020, all the way kind of to like mid 2022, we just had this very prolonged period of just like sustained, really high Bitcoin price, right? The Bitcoin price, stayed way up there for this, you know, year, year and a half um, period. And obviously, as GPU miners, which this video is, you know, specifically about GPU mining, we had Ethereum, which is the second biggest uh, coin by market cap. It is the number two ranked coin by market cap. And as you can see, it also had this same just sustained period of just a really high price and that is kind of going to be what a big portion of this video is about and we're going to talk about how we still can try and you know do the best with what we got sort of a thing but i bring this up because what does this look like when you're gpu mining well you know throughout this whole period here because the price of the coin is so high for a very long time that also looks like mining is very profitable and is very profitable for that amount of time. So you have this, you know, year, year and a half, almost two years, you know, of mining looking very profitable throughout this whole time. And you can sell your coins, you know, during any of this time and, and, and make it out with a massive profit from, you know, the past week of mining. But how is this different now? Or what, what was different about this to now? Well, Obviously, we don't have Ethereum to mine anymore. We don't have a top two coin that we can GPU mine anymore. And the main difference here is that, you know, these very, very big coins like Ethereum, Bitcoin, they get these long, like prolonged periods of really high um, coin price. But that isn't really something that we see with all of these smaller coins during a bull run, you know, like what we had um, previous here between, you know, 2021, 2022. So if we're on the brink of kind of a new bull run here, what's that going to look like? Well, let's start by looking at kind of the landscape of GPU mining as it is right now for us. So I'm just going to bring up hashrate.no. 
And, you know, we have all of these coins here, uh, which are kind of the most profitable coins to mine right now. I picked the uh, RTX 3070. But as you can see, you know, we're, we're kind of barely breaking even on most of these. And this is at 10 cents per kilowatt hour. And we have all of these, you know, smaller coins, Evermore, Celis, Skydoge, Vertcoin, Gemlink, Ergo, Dynex, on and on. But all these smaller market cap coins. So I want to bring you back to kind of like the peak here and what GPU mining looked like here. And I'm sorry, but I'm going to flashbang you here because I'm going to go, uh, you know, the Wayback Machine here and it didn't have dark mode. So here we go. <laughs> um, I'm sorry about, for your eyes there, but this is GPU mining profitability from what to mine on December 14th, 2021. Obviously, at the top here, we have Ethereum and Ethereum through NiceHash. We don't have those anymore. So let's let's remove those and then look at what we have. And again, it's all of these kind of smaller market cap coins. You got your Fero, your Ravencoin, Ergo, Beam. We've already touched on a lot of these. You got your Zero, Zeno, Vigilum, Corkchain, Callisto, Ryo, BitTube, Cash, Aeon, um, Flux. I think I saw Vert, we have Vertcoin here. Um, and I want us to look at what those coins did during the last bull run so that we can get a better idea of kind of what might this next potentially upcoming bull run look like for us GPU miners. So I'm going to bring up the, the um, coin price graph of many of these coins to kind of show you what my kind of point with this video is, which is let's look at Vertcoin during this period between, you know, from start of 2020 to the uh, end of 2022. So this is the same period as this and you can see for ethereum you know we had this whole prolonged period of just like high coin prices which again then also seems like high uh, gpu mining profitability for ethereum mining and then you have vertcoin which is coin prices low coin price coin prices low and then out of nowhere it has this huge pump you know where it does what like a 10x or something a, a, a 12x in coin price and, but you got to make sure you sell there, right? Because then it just goes down again. And if you don't sell here, then you kind of missed your, your shot. And so many of these other coins look like this. And this is, you know, some, some of what um, Rabbit Mining um, so elegantly brings up in his video, which is like, as miners, especially as altcoin miners, you don't really get a bull run like this, where you can just like, have your coins and or mine your coins and sell them and it's profitable and you can just keep mining and selling keep mining and selling keep mining and selling because you don't really get a bull run what you get is an altcoin season which is where the coin prices are kind of just low for a long time and then out of nowhere they spike in price and that's where you get to just sell all your whole bag at once and the problem is that they don't spike at the same time all of them so this is where vertcoin uh you know, spiked around May 2021. But then you have something like Vigilum, um, another GPU mineable coin from, you know, the this era here. And it didn't spike until uh, the kind of first quarter of 2022. So you could be mining throughout this whole period, just holding your bag. And then, out of you know, all of a sudden, it goes from like one cent to 60 cents, <laughs> you know? Yeah, is that right? Yeah, kind of, yeah, around or two cents to 60 cents out of nowhere. So this insane like 30x in coin price, but you got to make sure to have your bag ready and sell at that point if this is kind of what you want to be doing. Let me bring up some other examples here. You have swap again, kind of nothing happening and then out of nowhere, big spike. Aeon, same thing. Ryo, same thing. Beam same thing um, even i got Firo here kind of the same thing as well now there were some coins during this last uh bull run that were kind of a little bit in between these two uh, so you got coins like raven coin where obviously massive spike but these like these higher prices did stay high for a more prolonged period you know than something like vigilum for example right um but still, 
the price weren't high for such a long time um, as when compared to Ethereum. Now, I know it looks like uh, Raven Coin uh, did better, but this scale of the graph, you got to keep that in mind. Um, or you have something like Flux, right, where it was just kind of here doing nothing and all of a sudden shot up. But, you know, uh, in comparison to something like Vigilum, that sh big, um, the higher coin price was kind of higher for a more prolonged period, a longer period than some of these other coins that just shoot up overnight and you kind of have a few days where you could potentially sell your bag for a massive amount of money before, you know, the uh, price crashes down again. Same goes for Ergo, which also, it had two very pronounced peaks, but th especially the second peak was pretty pretty high there for uh, a good amount of time, you know, compared to, to some of these uh, other coins. Uh, let me get a good example here. Yeah, like, like Swap, right? Big peak, but only for a few days. Ergo, on the other hand, it stayed up there for a long time. So what is the point of all of this and what am I, you know, trying to get to uh, and how can you apply this knowledge if you're a GPU miner? Well, what I'm going to say here is if you are already sitting on a GPU mining farm at home, this is kind of like the option I do see for you. Unless we have a, uh, a coin come in and kind of just carry the whole GPU mining market and we do get something like Ethereum again, you know, maybe Maybe Seller just comes in and becomes a, a top 20 coin and just so profitable, so much money for us GPU miners to share in and mining just looks profitable for a, a full year and everything is, you know, hunky-dory. Maybe that will happen, but if not, that still doesn't mean GPU mining necessarily is dead depending on kind of what strategy you want to you wanna implement. And that strategy might be, you know, mining on the brink of unprofitability or even a little bit below profitability, which, you know, if you've watched some of my other videos, you know why, you know, being ever so slightly unprofitable actually might still be better than just buying the coin. Uh, you can check those videos out. I'll link those in the description too. But what you might want to do is just kind of get your head down and pick, you know, one or a few of these coins and mine them and stack them and just wait for them to hopefully have one of these massive peaks, you know, like we saw with, with all of these other smaller coins back in the previous uh, bull run here. Because if that is the case and, you know, we have something like, let's look at these coins and, you know, let's say, say Vertcoin uh, does another 10x, you know, and you, you mine it for, you know, eight months, a year now, right? then you, you stack these kind of $3 worth of vert coin every single day. But once that 10x pump comes and you sell it all at once, well, that is as if you would have been mining with a $30 profit on your 12 card rig every single day throughout this whole year. And I'm sure you can do the math on how much $30 a day on a single rig for a full year would be. And I think that's my point here uh, for this whole video is kind of GPU mining might look a lot different this time, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it won't be worth it and that it's dead. Uh, if you know, you might be just about breaking even for a very long time, and then you gotta just catch the pump and sell the whole bag right at that pump. And that makes this whole period of stacking the coins worth it. So I'm going to leave it at that and instead ask you to go watch those other videos by Rabbit Mining and Modern Mining. Thank you for watching. Leave me some comments down below what you think this next, you know, upcoming period of GPU mining is going to look like. And yeah, thank you for watching.